Hi, it's Teresa with SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Today I'm excited to share with you a cigar that is, it's a new release from uh, Rue 101's Namakubi Ecuador line, and this one is actually a limited edition too. Um, what's really cool about this is, um, well there's two factors I really want to focus on here. Uh, one is beyond taste and profile, which is so important. Two cool um, elements of this is personality and a local element to this too. So with personality, this comes from Rue 101. Uh, who Matt Booth is behind the brand Room 101, and he himself, I mean, if you've ever met him or seen him online or talked to him on Twitter or Facebook, you know the man is full of a lot of personality and a lot of passion, too. Uh, he's an artist, first and foremost. You definitely see that in his jewelry, but I think that also comes through in his cigars and his blends. Uh, the local aspect to it is this is made for a local retailer here in Houston, Stogies, and Jorge, the man behind Stogies, he is definitely full of passion and definitely full of knowledge, he is definitely a geek in a very good way, but he's also so hospitable. When you meet him, he guides you no matter where you need to go, whatever you're looking for. You know, even if you're just not sure what you're in the mood for, he'll have this little surprise like, oh, have you heard of this before? Or, oh, you know, you probably haven't had this in a while. Why don't you pick this up again? He's just always, you know, very much on it. And he can answer you questions about that in not just the cigar world, but when it comes to wines or like, you know, oh, if you had this really cool craft beer, let me tell you about it. Uh, just about anything, food, restaurants, oh, you need to hit the spot while you're here. And I love that about him. And so for him to have a cigar, you know, in collaboration here with Room 101, when I first heard about it, I was excited, especially with this particular line from the Ecuador line of Namakubi. And when I found out it was a Lancero, I was like, of course you're going to do a Lancero. I love you for doing a Lancero because it's one of my personal favorite sizes, and I know it's one of their personal favorite sizes as well. So it's really cool to see. And I don't think Lanceros get enough love. Um, I think people can have maybe, um, maybe they just don't really uh, understand what they are capable of. For me, a Lancero, in particular within a line um, of the same blend, a Lancero to me is like a cup of espresso. Yes, it's very, you know, it might be smaller, but it's much more intense. The flavors are really, really there. I mean, you feel the impact of those flavors. Uh, certain notes, maybe in the first puff or the first sip, for example, kind of hit you all at once. And then as you know, things start to kind of mellow and get balanced, then you start you know, taking another sip or taking another puff in this instance. And you start to see those subtleties, those little nuances kind of really, really stand out. And that's what I like about Lanceros as well as I like about espresso. And so for this one, this is just my second time smoking it now because it just came out. But um, before I lit the cigar up, the first thing I noticed is, just on the foot by itself, uh, a very um, leathery note to it and the smell, and just a hint of black pepper, just kind of like that fresh black pepper smell. Um, before I lit it up and I put it on my mouth too, there was just like a subtle sweetness and that black pepper note definitely kind of started to, uh, like kind of, I could feel it on my tongue a little bit. Uh, the first instance that I lit the cigar up, the first flavors that really stood out was the pepper was not uh, super, super there, which is kind of subtly in the background. Uh, I definitely got kind of a, um, like a woodsy, oaky kind of flavor in there, uh, especially in the middle of, of my tongue. And around the edges, I kind of got that black pepper kind of subtly creeping in. And I like that kind of roundness of flavor because it kind of, it's just enough to keep you interested and it makes you salivate because a good cigar should make you salivate. <laughs> um, but as, it, as I kept uh, smoking, and you can see I just now started it too, uh, as I started smoking, that intensity definitely kept building up. You can see there's a lot of strength there. It's a full-bodied strength, uh, as well as a full-bodied uh, flavor. There's an actual full body to it as well. And I can feel that impact kind of growing and growing. But uh, I'm going to continue smoking the cigar, and I'll come back to you shortly with more updates. This is a cigar that's great through the nose, too. Um, so just smoking this along, it's been very well balanced for a strong cigar. Yes, there's a lot of flavor going on, but it's just, you know, it's, again, it kind of rounds up the palate really well. I'm getting more earthy notes now. I'm getting a bit of like a cocoa and like a zest, like an orange zest or lemon zest. Uh, it makes me always want to kind of, because I always think of pairings in my head, because, you know, how many ways can I combine the things I love together in one sitting? Um, it makes me curious to maybe try it with uh, like a chocolate bar that has orange zest in it. I think that would work really well. It would be kind of fun together. Uh, the ash has been holding on very well. It doesn't want to really come off. Uh, been a very nice, easy burn. Uh, just really great at the nose. Nice aroma. Uh, really wonderful smoke. I'm very excited for them. 
Uh, and it's a limited cigar, yes, it's available locally at the shop, but that doesn't mean that you'll never see it. I do know you can call the shop and order a box, or, you know, order some cigars to be sent to you as well. So there's the opportunity, even if you're not here in Houston, to still be able to have a cigar. So I would definitely recommend uh, calling, you know, getting a cigar of your own to taste for yourself. Especially if, um, if you like the Ecuador blend from Nabucubi or, you know, if you love Lanceros, and I don't have to tell you, you know, I'm already talking to the choir on that, but if you haven't tried one, I would highly recommend this one. I think that'd be a good um, introduction to how uh, well balanced and full, you know, full uh, intensified that these cigars can be, what this Vitola has to offer. But definitely try it for yourself and let me know your thoughts. I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.